testimony from the mother of a Hartford woman killed in her own bedroom. 19-year-old Jesse Blodgett was found strangled last summer. Her former boyfriend, Daniel Bartelt, is now on trial, accused of killing her. 12 News reporter Ben Hutchison is West Bend tonight live. And Ben, the 911 call was heard for the first time during opening testimony. Craig, everything wrapped up for the day about a half hour ago, but that 911 call, a glimpse into the crime that was committed in July of 2013. Today, Jesse Blodgett's mom was the first one to take the witness stand. It looks like strangulation marks. There are strangulation marks? That's what it looks like. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. Joy Blodgett wipes tears from her face while listening to the 911 call she made after finding her daughter unresponsive in her bedroom on July 15, 2013. I lifted her body down to the floor and I put a pillow under her head and then I just started doing compressions. Sitting across from Blodgett, Daniel Bartelt, Jesse Blodgett briefly dated him. They took forensics class and played in the orchestra together. He's the man accused of killing her. At the time of her death, Jesse was friends with Bartelt, but there were concerns. I had become aware of a kiss that he tried to um, Push upon her that she did not appreciate. A tan braided rope. Assistant District Attorney Sandra Giernoth shows the jurors evidence found at a nearby park where she says Bartelt went after the alleged struggle and homicide took place. The defendant's DNA was found under both sets of fingernails for Jesse's hands. Bartelt's defense calls it circumstantial evidence. These pieces of evidence alone are not sufficient. There are other reasonable explanations for those. Now, Daniel Bartelt actually came to Blodgett's home the day after her death for a vigil. He did tell her mother that he had to leave because the police said they wanted to talk with him. In Washington County, Ben Hutchison, WISN 12 News.